Good Monday morning. I know we all know this, but COVID just changed so much. So much in our lives. Uh, Philly used to travel a lot, like many of you probably did, and he just had his first trip, like after 18 months recently. And, you know, we used to do weekend experiences and um, we haven't done those, so we're super excited that they're gonna start back this year. I say that and I'm so excited about that. Um, but it's like the kitchen table became the office. You know, the business attire was traded for the PJs. I should take stock in Soma because they sell the most comfortable PJs and they're like the new business attire. And that's if we're lucky. That's if we um, kept our jobs because so many people lost their jobs and now vaccine mandates and people are losing jobs again. And so we just um, have this really fascinating season and situation where we are really being um, made aware that if our career is our identity or our foundation, we're in a mess of trouble. Because God had never intended it to be that way. Yet, yeah, isn't it interesting that often when we introduce ourselves to people, the first thing we do is we tell them what we do, as if that defines who we are. But you know, God loves us enough to break up all those faulty foundations in our lives of relationships or careers, to make sure that we know where our true identity lies. In Ephesians chapter two, verse 10, he says this, he says, for we are his workmanship. Doesn't that give you comfort? Doesn't that give you peace? To know that that is your real identity? Who are you? Oh, oh, I, me? <laughs> I am Christ's, work, Christ's workmanship, in case you were wondering. That's who I am. That's my identity and nothing changes that. Whether the job comer goes, whether the paycheck changes, whether I get unemployment or don't get unemployment, nothing about my identity changes. I will always be. From the beginning of time, before the foundations of the world, before I was formed in my mother's womb, I was his workmanship. So could it be that God is um, breaking up a faulty foundation in your life so that you can build on the only one that really will remain, and that's Jesus Christ? Sometimes He loves us enough to take the career away to make sure we know who the real master builder is. We are his workmanship. Boy, that's a powerful revelation because we are more than what we do. It is whose we are. And it was planned and purposed and prepared before the very beginning of time. That is really good news on any Monday morning. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.